and you guys check that this would be 5. So if this is 5, then we can calculate. Now we have all the angles on all the sides. Sir, so you then, are paused. I am paused. Yes, okay. sir. Now, now you are okay. Yeah. Now I'm okay. <laughs> so in the question, they wanted us to prove 1 minus tan square a, this is a divided by 1 plus tan square a. This was equal to cos square a minus sin square a. So, your, uh, whatever you have done, that is absolutely correct. Right? No, uh, there is no problem in that uh, solution. But we can also do this in this way, right? We can find out what is tan a. So, tan a is uh, p by p. So that would be 3 by 4. Cos A would be 4 by 5. And uh, sin A would be 3 by 5. So we can calculate all these things. We can put in here LHS and we can put in RHS. So in this way, we can uh, put this, right? So this you guys, you guys can check. And uh, your method is also correct. That is, that is also the correct. In the second part, uh, you have a doubt in this one. In this question, you have a doubt, right? Right. Yes, so what we can do is that we can simplify this one, right? We can simplify these two. So we can cross multiply, then we will get uh, this multiplied with uh, this one. And uh, this multiplied with uh, this one, right? <coughs> So we, when we solve this one, what uh, we'll get? Cot theta will be multiplied with uh, this one and this one, right? And this minus one would be multiplied with uh, one. So this would be minus one and minus uh, And then we multiply cot theta with uh, these two. And then one uh, with uh, these two. Right. So which one will cancel? Minus root three, minus root three will cancel because if this goes in the right hand side, this will become positive. So this will cancel. And any other term, this one will also cancel. Right. So we will have uh, pot three and uh, root 3 and this is plus root 3 cot theta and then this is how much 1 and this goes in the right hand side plus one. so <coughs> so this would be how much this is uh, 2 root uh, 3 cos theta equals to 2 so Cot theta. So cot uh, theta would be 2 by 2 root 3. So this cancels and we have 1 by root 3. So when cot theta is uh, 1 by root 3, when the value of cot theta is 1 by root 3, guys, how many lines it is you guys said? When cot theta is 1 by root 3, what is the value of theta for which Cot theta is 1 by 3. Yes, sorry guys, uh, here Amira and uh, Nick Sweet. Hello, can you guys hear? Yes, yes sir, we can hear you. Mm, so, what is the value of theta for which cot angle ratio 45? is 1? 9, 45. Have uh, those uh, tables with you, right? So you guys, uh, grab, uh, yeah. 
cot theta is 1 by root 3 for 6. Degree. Right. Or if uh, we don't remember, then, uh, okay. yeah, so this uh, would be uh, 60 degrees, right? And if we don't remember, we remember this one, but that would be a uh, problematic one. So cos theta by sine theta is one by root three. So we can write uh, this one as, uh, yeah, so cos theta is uh, 1 by 2 and uh, sine theta is uh, root 3 by 2. But this would be difficult to understand. So it is easier to remember this cos theta one. Right. Okay, is this uh, clear, guys? Is this uh, clear? Yes, sir. Please uh, note down this problem and uh, what was the other homework question? <clears throat> Next uh, homework was uh, this. Good. Uh, you have written the reason also. Good, good. So 1 plus tan square theta, 1 minus tan theta, 1 plus tan theta. So 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus uh, sine theta is 1 minus sine square theta, and then 6 square theta is cancelled. Yeah, so this is correct. 14th one is correct, and uh, 15th one you have a doubt, right, Amira? In the 15th, yes, uh, so this one, 15th uh, question is out of this case, right? Complementary angles are not in the syllabus, so we can uh, skip that part. So whenever you guys have uh, noted down, please tell me, then we'll do the assignment uh, problems. Where is the B? So B is still not here. Sir, in the third line, this, it is cos theta, right? Oh. What it does? Why have I written? All the things are caught, right? So why they would be caught? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's whenever you guys have noted it down. Yes, sir. Yeah. So now, uh, let us, Amira, what about you? Note it. Yes, I am very noted. Now, let us do some. <laughs> right. So, did we only this question uh, we did? Second question we did in the previous class, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, now let us uh, do all these uh, questions. And uh, we have to remember that whenever we have a uh, square tops, right, cos square theta, 6 square theta, then we can use the identity, right? Because uh, we have all those uh, three identities. And in those, uh, we have all the terms which are in squares. So whenever we see squares, so we can uh, just use uh, one of those identities. So we, we have to be just careful that uh, whenever we have squares, so then uh, we can think about uh, those uh, three things. It is this uh, problem. And uh, the next question I will ask you guys to do this, because that is similar to the thought. Find the value of this equations, right? So six squared theta minus one 
and then quarter square theta. So what is uh, this thing? What is this thing you guys uh, tell? Yes, guys, uh, what is this thing? Do we know? Tan theta? Tan theta. Oh, tan square theta. Tan theta, right? Because uh, we know we know that uh, sec square theta minus tan square theta is uh, 1. So we take this one in the left hand side, right? And this one in the right hand side. So as uh, Amira said, this would be tan square theta. And uh, what is tan square theta into cos square cos square <laughs> theta? I can write this as 1 by tan square theta, right? So this would be 1. Right, uh, Amira? Yes, sir. So this was uh, this question. Now you guys... Uh, Tell me what are you guys getting in the fourth question? Oh, so we have a solved third question. You guys tell me what uh, did we get in the fourth question? Yeah, you guys please uh, solve this one and tell me what uh, you guys get. So question number four, right? Yeah, question number four. Yes, uh, whenever you guys have uh, got any solution, the answer please uh, take. Yes, done, guys. This was exactly the same as we thought. Yes, they just we and Amira. So one minute. Hmm, please, please try this. So I got one as the answer. So you are getting uh, one. And what about you, Amira? What are you getting? So I am getting cos square theta minus sin square theta equals to one. Cos square theta minus sin square theta. How can that be? Because uh, we know that this is the identity, right? 
this is one. Right? This we don't know. This is not a one. Right? So, okay, so let me ask you this one. That uh, what uh, what is uh, cos x square theta minus 1? Let us keep this uh, thing, right? Whenever we have square, and this is simplified, so we should not change this one into sine and cos, right? So did you change this to sine and cos? Yes, sir. This is already six square, right? So this is already square. And we have the identity in terms of six square theta. So we should not, uh, yeah, we should not touch this uh, term. That is the key idea, right? And uh, you tell me, so now you would help me solve the, this problem. What is cos x square theta minus four? How much is that? What is the uh, cos x square theta minus one? Just remember those, uh, the identity. And uh, in those uh, identities where this cos, cos x square theta is come. Cot, cot square cot, theta? Cot square theta, absolutely right. Good. And uh, what is the uh, one pi cot square theta? How much would be that? Just if you call up cot theta, one by cot square theta. Tan. Tan. And is that tan square or tan? Tan square theta. So tan square theta. Now we have got the result. So how much is uh, this? What is this? One. One, right. So this was uh, the Good. So you have solved this one, right? I will solve you uh, solve this one. And there is already got the second one and uh, fifth one is exactly the same. So you guys tell me that uh, what would be the value? Okay. You guys uh, tell me what would be the value. The second and fifth one is the same question. So we have sec theta tan theta and plus tan sec theta minus tan. So which identity which will be used that we have uh, understood in the second question and we have to just simplify that and we we'll get uh, yeah. That is the only thing that we Yes, please solve this fifth one and uh, tell me what you guys are getting. Hmm, is there any uh, doubt in this fifth uh, one, or are you guys uh, solving this one? Minus one. Minus one. So they just we got uh, minus. Same sir. Same good. Uh, yeah. So we see we saw that in this question, sec theta minus tan theta was uh, one by x, right? 
So Sir, that's in a question. yeah, yeah. So this uh, second one, this one we got uh, as one by it, right? And sec theta plus tan theta was x. Similarly, in the fifth question, sec theta plus tan theta is how much? Minus one. So sec theta minus tan theta would be one by x, which is one by minus one, which would be minus. Right. So this is using the second uh, question. Or we can use uh, this thing that six square theta minus tan square theta is one. So this is six theta minus tan theta, six theta plus tan theta. So this we know because uh, six theta plus tan theta plus one is zero. So sec theta plus tan theta equals two. This goes in the right hand side minus. One. So this is a minus one. So sec uh, theta minus tan theta be one by minus one. So minus. One. So which method you guys have used? This one or this one? That's the first one. First, first one. one sir. Yeah. First one, you use the relation of uh, second question, right? <clears throat> Good. So now this part is uh, clear. So then let us do this uh, sixth uh, question. And you guys, please uh, practice all these uh, questions, right? In that way, your calculation and your mistakes, uh, so your mistakes uh, will reduce and your uh, calculation. So sixth uh, question. In sixth question, we have uh, this thing and uh, we have uh, this thing. Right. <clears throat> and uh, we want to calculate uh, this thing. So from these information, what uh, we can calculate? What we can calculate from this one and this one, which we can use in here. So from first information, what we can uh, calculate, which will be useful in the in this uh, solution. What we can calculate? See the first term in the bracket. This is x. So can we find out uh, this one using this one? Yes, sir. So what would be x from here? Is what would be x from here? Minus. This is yes. Is uh, what did you say? So this th three will go in the right hand side, right? And uh, from here, what would be one by x? That would be part uh, theta by. Right, so we have found out x, we have found out one by x. So you guys, please find out uh, this thing and tell me what you think. And uh, let me uh, support it. You guys, please find out uh, these two things because we already know x, we already know one by x. So you guys have to just square these things and find out what would be given. So please uh, find out and uh, tell me what you guys think.
Yes, did you guys uh, get any other questions? Uh, one, by one by three, sir. One by three. Good. You guys are fast. Three and this is cos x square theta by nine minus cos square theta by nine. Right. So three by nine and uh, cos x square theta minus cos square theta. This is one. So one by three. Yes, that is absolutely correct. So you guys can see that this is similar, right? This is similar, and this is uh, again. Uh, so what I will do is that I will give this question as your homework. Right. This question as your homework, you guys, please practice this one. And you guys have to just remember that we have to find x, y, square them, and subtract them. So that is uh, the thing that we have to do. Right. Let us move on to the 10th uh, question. And you guys, please uh, practice. And whenever you face any difficulty, any doubt, please, please ask me, right? Because uh, all these chapters uh, need uh, practice. A lot of practice. Okay. Let us uh, solve this uh, question. Right. The most uh, difficult one. So you guys can see that every term is in the square. Right. So every term is uh, in the square, which means that we can use uh, the identity. So what would be the numerator? 1 plus tan square A. How much is that? Yes, it is be and Amira. What is one plus tan squared? Just look it's at uh, six squared, right? This is uh, six squared. Is that correct, uh, TSV? Yes, sir. Good. And what is uh, one plus cot, cot squared? Yes. Cos x squared. Cos x squared, right? So good. So six squared is the reciprocal of cos. So we can write uh, this one as this, and this is a reciprocal of sine. So this will go in the topmost uh, numerator, and this will come down to the denominator. So sine square A by cos square A, which is a tan square, which is a RHS, uh, hence the root. Right, so this was uh, the simple question. Right. Is that uh, yes, clear? So this one you already need. Right. Uh, Amira, is this uh, clear? So I have uh, told you guys that whenever we see rational and uh, whenever we see, so what should we do in this uh, question? We have these uh, rational uh, numbers, right? Rational functions. So what should we do? We have uh, this one. Rationalize? Rationalize, right? So we should uh, rationalize uh, this. So we should uh, multiply this by 1 plus cos A, divide by 1 plus cos A. So remember, in a root, we need a perfect square. So whenever we have a whole square, so that part we can skip. So this one would be 1 plus cos A whole square. Because 1 plus cos A, 1 plus cos A, so whole square. 
this is a minus b a b plus b so this is one minus cos square a b right so this part uh, we should not touch because this is a whole square so this will be out of the roots so let us uh, look at uh, the denominator what is uh, the identity that we can use in here sin square sin square so this is sin square so you see that every term is in whole square this is whole square this is whole square so we can take it out of the root so this would be this and uh, this is uh, this. right yes sir. so in here what have i told you guys uh, when you were doing this uh, trigonometric identity so what have i told you guys whenever we have these uh, two terms so we separate uh, these terms right Yes, yes you guys are, yeah so we write uh, them separately so this would be this which means that 1 by sin a is how much <coughs> how much is 1 by sin a cos what sin what is the reciprocal of sin Cos 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 is 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 and which RHS. So you guys please note uh, down and uh, in, uh, what is Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Noted, uh, guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This time I will send you some homework, Tejas Sri, please. Try the, these uh, questions, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, this question was uh, the homework. So this you have done on the day, right? This one was also the homework, 13th one, right? And 14th one was uh, also the homework. <coughs> All these questions you have uh, done, Amira, has done and we discuss uh, these uh, problems, right? So we have discussed about these problems. Okay. So now uh, 16th uh, one. Because the uh, 15th one and uh, 17th one is not part of this series. So we should uh, skip uh, Thank you. 
Can you guys please try this as 16th question? Please try this 16th question and uh, tell me whether you are getting the result or not. Okay, please try this 16th uh, question. The similar question we have tried uh, just before this question, or maybe a couple of questions before. The question number 16? Yeah, question number 16. One, six, seven. Yes, did you guys uh, get <laughs> the answer? No, sir, we are sorry. Yes, guys, you guys have done this problem just a moment ago. So, by x is uh, take uh, theta. So, what we can calculate from here? Y by x is uh, tan theta. So what we can calculate from here, which will be useful in finding out uh, this one. So that is uh, the question. We have just uh, calculated x would be sec theta by pi. One by x would be tan theta by pi. So now we have x, we have one by x, we can just put that value in here. 
So sec theta by five uh, whole square minus uh, tan theta by five whole square. So this so is one by uh, five. No. <laughs> now we have got uh, the result. So this was a similar question, right? This is uh, one by twenty five so one by ten. Right, uh, Amira. So where did you guys uh, get stuck? No, sir, I was solving. Hmm, guys, we so one by five, as uh, they just we say that would be the correct answer. Now let us let us uh, solve this eighteenth uh, question. So let us uh, try this. Okay, so you guys can see that uh, we have already a square, right? In the right hand side, we also have a square, which means that uh, should we change all these uh, things to sign and cos, or should we simplify these uh, things? What should we do guys? In the 18th question, we have a square. So what should we do? Should we simplify or should we change this to sign and cos? Everything to sign and cos. Remember, the right hand side is not sign and cos. So what are you guys uh, suggesting? Should we simplify? Yes? I can please it. Yeah, so I am saying that in this uh, 18th uh, question, in the 18th uh, question, you have this whole square plus whole square. In the right hand side, you have tan square theta, cot square theta. So everything is in uh, squares, right? So I have told you guys that whenever you have squares, so we should use the identity, right? And uh, we should not change uh, into sign and cos. So in here, in here, what should we do? We should simplify these uh, LHS, right? Not write them in sign because that will complicate things for us. Is that clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so if we simplify this one, right? If we simplify this one, so LHS would be sine theta plus cosec theta whole square plus cos theta plus sec theta whole square. So this is a This is uh, sine square theta plus uh, cosec square theta <coughs> plus two sine theta cosec uh, theta plus this is uh, cos square theta plus sec square theta plus two cos theta sec theta. So uh, what is the first uh, identity that we can use in this, uh, in this one? What, uh, what are the terms that you can identify in which we can use the identity? Yes. What is the first identity that we can use in here? Whenever this question arises, we have to just uh, think about that. What are the things that we have? So we have uh, this one. We have uh, this one. And uh, we have uh, this one. So which one we can use directly in here? Sine square theta plus a cos square theta. So that we can directly use, right? Yes, sir. So that would be one. 
Now, this is a cosec square theta. And what is sine theta into cosec theta? What, how much would be that? So that would be, cosec theta is reciprocal of what? Yes. This is reciprocal of sine theta. So I can write this as sine theta. And then I have a six square theta plus two cos theta. Again, I have the six theta, which is reciprocal of one. So this one, this one cancels, this one, this one cancels. So I have a, I have what? I have one plus this is two plus this is two. And then I have cos x squared theta plus x squared theta. So you guys can uh, see that cos x squared theta in terms of, uh, you see that RHS is in terms of tan squared theta and cot squared theta. So can we get from cos x squared theta what we can get? Just look at uh, this relation from cos x square theta, cot uh, square theta. We can get cot square theta, right? So cos x square theta is one plus cot square theta. Similarly, from six square theta, what we can get? We can get tan square theta, right? So that is one plus uh, tan square. Theta. So 5 plus 1 plus 1, that is 7 plus tan squared theta plus cot squared theta. That was uh, the RHS, right? So this was uh, the question. Is there any doubt in this question, guys? We have to remember that when we have to use the identity and when we, have to, when we should not, right? Or when we cannot. So is this uh, clear? Yes, sir. 18th one we have done. 19th one, yeah. Whenever you guys have noted this 18th one, you guys tell me. And 19th one, you guys uh, will find. Done, sir. Done. Okay, what about you, are we done, okay? One minute, sir. <coughs> and this one problem we have already done in NCR. So this is the NCRT problem, right? And uh, yes, guys, please uh, practice these uh, questions. And these are very really important. Okay. So all these times, so. So I will just uh, give you guys the idea that we cannot uh, use the, because these are not uh, squares, right? We don't have any square in these uh, terms. So we cannot use uh, the identities directly. So then what should we do in this uh, question? These are mixed question, quad, quasic, tan, thick. So what should we do in this question? What is the key idea? 
we can uh, uh, turn them into sine and cos. Yeah, so Amira is saying that write all of them in sine and cos. Is that uh, correct? Tejasvi? Or we can multiply the brackets. Tejasvi, uh, what did you say? We can, sir. Yes, so, yes, that is the correct approach. So convert all of them into sine and cos and then simplify the brackets as uh, we have said. So we have to just write them in sine and cos and then simplify the brackets and then you guys uh, see what uh, what will be the answer. So I will uh, leave this question as your homework. I will uh, send these notebooks to you. And you guys uh, please write. So we'll stop it here and you guys have this class assessment, right? So after you guys leave, please uh, take that class assessment. And uh, tomorrow is uh, Children's Day. So happy Children's Day, guys. And on happy Wednesday, day. yeah, and on Wednesday, right? And you guys practice some question. Whenever you guys have any doubts, please. Uh, let me. So bye, guys, and please uh, take that class assessment, okay?